All right, well, that concludes uh, my poster today on the role of the, the calcium in the stabilization of, of NEG1 and CHIP3 complex. Uh, I want to thank you all for, for being here and allowing me to uh, present my work. Um, oh, and I see we have a new participant. Welcome to the, uh, the virtual poster session. Um, if there are any questions, um, I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you. Uh, very interesting poster. Um, however, I'm having trouble understanding how calcium meristol switch protein elicits its function upon NH1 and when the two are interacting. Is it dependent on the binding of the two? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, to be honest with you, we're not absolutely sure whether the binding of NH1 and CHIP3 are required for CHIP to elicit its meristal interaction. Um, however, if I just zoom in on a sequence analysis here, um, the, the going consensus is as the binding of the two proteins is not necessary because with all the mutational analysis that we've done, uh, we've never shown that uh, the binding of calcium is inhibited. And that's the major, you know, activator of the of the calcium homologous proteins. So, you know, if I show you here uh, the sequence analysis, we have the meristal site right at the N-terminal region, and then uh, a functional EFN calcium binding motif right in the middle. And it is the binding of calcium that then elicits the the function of of the chip three proteins. And but by what by what mechanism do meristol switch proteins actually work? Um, again, very good question. If, if I if you just allow me here to zoom in uh, or find a uh, an animation that we we have here, um, so what we see here is a image of the uh, the chip three protein, and and you said the N terminal meristol region. Uh, and it's actually in this inactive state is embedded within the protein. And the calcium binding motif, in this case shown in green. Calcium um, meristal switch well, proteins actually, are a class of proteins where the calcium, as you see a calcium ion in yellow coming here. Once the FN binding motif joins the calcium, now you see the meristal switch protein, uh, there's a conformational change and now it is um, externalized and uh, allowed, now it can actually insert into the uh, into the uh, cellular membrane, and this then elicits its meristolation activation, and thereby stabilizing the chip three protein in the membrane, along with you know any proteins that it's bind to, which you know in this case is NHE one. Um, and I, I see, unfortunately, that we've uh, reached sort of the sixty minute uh, time limit we have for this virtual poster session. So, again, I want to thank you all for for joining me today and allow me to present our work. And if you have any other questions, just please put them in the uh, post them in the chat room, and I would be happy to continue this discussion and answer any questions you have. Thanks for joining me. Thank, thank you. you. It was very interesting. Thanks.